Hi everyone, so Tier here, and thanks for dropping by and watching my video. So today I'm going to do a walkthrough for Oxygen Not Included, the Thermal Upgrade version. So I'm going to do cycles 1 to 50. Probably I'm going to split it into maybe two or three videos if it's a bit too long. Then once that's done, we're going to be going into the Oxygen Not Included, the Agriculture Upgrade version, which is going to be released on May 18th. So that's something a bit I'm a bit excited with because there are going to be new crops, there are going to be new plants that's coming in and there are going to be new characteristics that's going to be available for the existing duplicants in the game and that's going to be a bit exciting so I'm hoping that there are more than that but based on the announcement those are the main things that they're, they're going to be prioritizing or that's going to be released in the agricultural upgrade so now let's get into the walkthrough so let's get on to it so first off Again, I'm going to be doing things the way I want to, which is high learning, high creativity. So we already have Frankie here, which is a level 8 learning, so that's pretty good. I'm going to leave him as is. Now, what I'm considering here is May, because she has high athletics, good enough digging, and good enough strength. That's a lot of plus that I have to consider. I think that's fine. You know, uh, level 7 runner is pretty good. So now I'm going to need a creative one. High creative. Gastrophobia is fine. Twinkle Toes is okay. So let's see. High creative. Oh, no. I don't want the duplicate that eats a lot of food. Or learning. No, I need a creative. Oh, there we go. High creative, but bottomless. No. Come on, come on. Give me high creative. High creative with uh, not so bad neg negative trait. Alright. No. No. Don't like that. There we go, so perfect. Even better, we have diverse lungs, high creativity, we have a researcher, and we have uh, the brunt, the grunt. So we're good, this is a good start. Don't worry too much about, you know, what their score is in terms of decorations. At the end of the day, you're gonna be fine. So initially, before we start, uh, here's a quick tip that I forgot to mention. Just use temperature, you'll have a pretty much good idea on what are the things around you. You know, what are the biomes that you will normally encounter. So we have here sandstone, obsidian, abyssalite. Chances are these are if you see abyssalite, it's most likely the purple biome, which I don't want to be. But we have the ice biome on the south and on the upper side, but I'm hoping to find the golden amalgam so that I know it's a slime biome alright we don't know anyways so let's start digging in explore this side first and explore that side in terms of water we have three patches of water down which is all good so we have the ice biome here that's good because we need the ice biome to put more food in so they will be refrigerated so I'm gonna put that on fastest so they'll move quicker the main priority is just to dig through here and get that access to the refrigeration and my soon-to-be supercomputer so that's something we can do dig 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 still have a lot of time then next we're gonna be building our beds bed 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 three beds one two three then we're gonna build an outhouse I'll most likely make two outhouses just in case because sometimes one outhouse can will not be enough just based on experience but it's not really a big of an issue it's really up to your taste if you want to build one or not so we have a lot of upper ore nearby that's good so we can quickly build our research center Oh, there we go. So we have the slime biome up here. So that's that's a, that's good enough. The the last thing I want to see is the purple biome because uh, the, the resources here I don't really need early on in the game. Just surviving the first 50 cycles, you're just going to need the ice biome. And most of the time you're going to be here with the uh, slime biome. And I think we have a geyser here, so that's good. Alright, we're done. We can probably build the research center now. It's too soon though, but... Uh, nothing is too soon. Just build him up. Oh. 
There we go. Fill that, then uh, what do we do next? We just keep digging through here, right? Yeah. Dig here until we get there. Now the thing is, do I do research now or no? It's not really the top priority at the moment. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. And I'll probably dig through here. This is going to be, I think, this middle one is going to be the main pool. I'm just going to run this through here and run this through here. I'm going to put the ladder down here. Should be good enough. Another annoying thing that I don't like is that when you start getting other resources like uh, obsidian and uh, whatever, the top priority will always be obsidian. It'll, it's going to default it here, which is quite annoying sometimes when you're busy, so you don't really see. So you don't really get to pay attention on the resources that you're actually using. But anyways, just keep that in mind. Early on in the game, it's a bit annoying, and even in the late game, it's even more annoying because obsidian is not really that easy. You know, it's not as abundant as sandstone or granite, so... Just keep that in mind when you're making your stuff. So we're, we have enough oxygen here, so we're just getting access to water so we can start doing research. Uh, so we have this one, we can probably keep that as a pet. But we'll see later on. So we have another one here. So It really depends on how much resources we have for coal. Later on in the game, we're going to be probably needing it. Just to keep some of the structures that we're going to be building for the bio distillers and so on here in the slime biome. So later on, it's going to be essential. But for now, top priority, just get this here. Is there any resorts? So we have, we have a seed here. But we don't have the plant itself yet, so that's okay. Come on, come on. Hurry up, people. We're going to be doing farming. Uh. Alright, did I set the jobs? Uh, just to be sure. No, I didn't. Take those two out. For R, take these two out. Okay. Don't forget to always put the job in. Uh, take out those things that shouldn't be there. Reason why I prioritize the research for Frankie is because he can do research much much faster than the other two. And uh, you know we're we're trying to do things as early as we can. So. Yep. Uh, what else? So we're running out of oxygen pretty early. I'm gonna open this one down. Tiles in are we one, two, three, four, so that's the maximum of tiles. Alright, so a slight change of plan. We don't really have much oxygen left for the oxalites, so we I need to start preparing. Alright, that's fine. Have that you know, have that hatch die for now. We have a few more later on. So I'm gonna rush this a bit. So we can get, so we can get the terrariums out. Then we're gonna be, I'm gonna be running for the gas permeable tile mainly for the air to actually flow into my base. <clears throat> All right, that's enough space there, so we can start putting the tiles in. See what I see? See that here? So it's defaulted to obsidian, which I don't want. So let's plant everything here. Nope. Out. And once this is done, we can probably start putting our plants in. It's too early though. Cycle two, but that's fine. That's okay. We're preparing. The earlier the better. When I when I read the update for the agricultural upgrade, it mentioned that uh, if you plant your plants well, in a sense that you put them in the optimum in the optimum place for them to grow, they're going to yield more food than the usual, which is quite good. So at least you're not limited to what you have as it is. Okay, we're done with that. Oh, we're done with the terrariums. So we terrariums in. There. I'm going to put a couple here and probably one in the 
Then we're going to put one here. And we can actually put planter boxes. So we planter boxes in. And I'm going to leave around one, one, two, three, three tiles for the oxidizer. Um, the oxidizer actually creates a bit of heat and sometimes it hampers the growth of my millwood. So I'm going to leave a bit of space there. All right, so that's pretty quick. Cycle two is down. Probably do the research. Gas tiles are set. And do I need to compost now? No. <clears throat> Just rushing it a bit so that we're prepared when this runs out. For the food, we're fine. It's not going to decay long enough. Come on guys, do things a bit more faster. Too slow. So we know the places where we need to go. So once I get through here, I'm just going to make enough space to put my ration boxes in and my supercomputer in. Then we're, gonna, we're not going to touch the ice biome for quite a while. We're going to be going here. So I can make a pool for my geyser, then uh, we can probably start harvesting some polluted water. Hey, there we go. So we can start putting in those mealwoods. Come on. And playing it. Plant some food in. Here we go. Right. We have enough time. So the fort. So we're going to be counting it to to here. One, two, here. One, two. Like that. To that and I like putting alternate alternating gas permeable tiles my base so so I'm building it that way the fourth duplicate should be coming in I think oh it's gonna be in the next cycle that's fine. We're prepared. We're out of oxygen. Um, still have a lot. But they're going to be dropping soon, so I have to be quick. How, how many research do we need? Seven more. Oh, there we go. Port we have, hopefully they're good. Naturally robust is pretty good. I have no use for medicine. Wow, so much sickness you have there but the learning is so good i'm sorry this bit but i'm going for ada ada welcome to the family ada so we are gonna put bed in here wow no space for your bed then i guess we'll put you there then that's okay sleep beside the outhouse Come on, come on, Frankie. Finish the research, Frankie. Or, nope. There we go. We're done. And we're not gonna build that. It's gonna be too uh, too long. So we're just gonna dig everything here and make the tile set six ten. Bit. Oh, get full obsidian again. All right, we're set. I think we're good. So we start planting those. I mean, we can start building those ration boxes then. We're gonna dig go up. We're gonna go up. I don't plan to do anything on these things yet, but maybe later on we'll start opening up. Start pulling the waters together. <clears throat> ah, so there, the plants are down here. We have a seed here. We also have to be careful with snow because they, the snow actually liquefies and it 
creates a lot of problems sometimes. So sometimes when, when they melt, it creates a lot of water and it chills your duplicates and it can be a bit annoying sometimes, but nothing, not much of a problem to deal with though. It's just more of an annoyance. Let's start building the ration boxes. Uh, cool enough. Uh, should be cool enough. Then I'll have supercomputer here, then ration boxes here. Two, three, four. Go for it. There we go. Then we build the gas permeable tiles. There we go. Two, two, two. Alright, a lot of work for my little people. I'll probably have to put another terrarium here, just in case. You know how oxygen and carbon dioxide works, so carbon dioxide tend to go to the sides. So I have to make sure I have something there that actually absorbs them. Ah, oh, we're set. Unrefrigerated. Really? Gotta be refrigerated soon. I'm gonna close this one in so that my oxygen will not leak too far in. And we'll lock. Come on. Come on. Lack of resources for what? And we're gonna start researching, I guess, the batteries. No rush for decorations yet because we don't really have any stress to begin with, so let's do those things first. Then we're gonna dig up. Now we're gonna try to contain the oxygen here for the time being because we're not producing enough. So it's gonna be a problem if I leave this leaking. Come on guys, build it. Come on. There you go. Ah, uh, obsidian again. Fine. Build. So oxygen, we're it's still dropping, but it should hold. It should hold. All right. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else? Done with that. Then probably build the supercomputer here. Oops. And we can run the electricity. Don't really need to put it under I mean, for decoration purposes. It's not really that important at the moment. So we have, uh, we have water, we have everything we need. How much? We have 3,000 kilograms of algae. There we go. So we're done with the batteries. So we're going to build a bigger battery here. No need for heavy wadded wire. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to be digging up. Uh, try to explore more of that slime biome here. Are we stabilizing in oxygen? I think we are. So that's, that's good enough. Do we miss anything? We're still okay, fam. Yeah? Food are refrigerated, I would assume. Refrigerated, refrigerated. What's happening? Alright, so it's refrigerated. Unrefrigerated. It can't make up its mind. I think 
let's just move it here. Come on, people, move it, move it, move all of those food in, because this ration box can't make up its mind. We're gonna deconstruct that. All right, we're set. Supercomputer is set. We're gonna be digging up there. What else are we missing? We're we're going down in terms of oxygen. It's not good, so I'm gonna be building the algae deoxidizer pretty much pretty soon. That here. Am I gonna be connecting it? No, not yet. I'm not gonna connect it yet. Be digging up here as well. <clears throat> and let's do another research. Let's this one. Alright, we're set. Wow, there's such a small slime biome, but at least we have access to the slime biome, which is good. Could be worse. Once we get up there, we'll dig through. Want to see what exactly are we dealing with? So we only have a small pile of polluted water there, and uh, we need a bit of slime so we can start doing bio distillers and so on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the entire base so that we'll have a good enough space to go through. So we're going to clean everything down here, and we're going to pull all the water in, I guess. In terms of oxygen, we're going really low. So it's pretty low, so I really have to start... I have to start uh, using the deoxidizer. I'm going to dig a bit of space here so we can put the compost in. I can put it anywhere, but I want to put it there. So a lot of stuff for them to do for now, so... There's not much else we can do for the moment. Hurry up, people! We need more people! Set. I put the blossoms. So I don't want most of the oxygen spreading through here, so I gotta close it. Should I? Should I do that? Thinking of... Let's just do that. I'm going to try to contain the oxygen. We are at 500, 600. Eiffel. Sufficient. Oh, we don't have fertilizers? Take everything here. Get those fertilizers in. Uh, we can't dig it. Not so good options. High learning, dimensionally enough, cannot build. Sucks. Half breeder, that also sucks. Minus five athletics, that's okay. Because athletics can be learned, but Ruby, you really, really have bad stats. But that's okay. You have diverse slots. That's. I guess that's something. <laughs> well, that's what we get for a level zero character, so it would be so slow. But that's okay, she's doing her best.
Still no. Where are my fertilizers? Why did you guys stop digging the fertilizers? So, I mean, let me just stop this one first, okay? Oh man, the prioritization. It's like you guys don't know what to prioritize, huh? So we're gonna be prioritizing everything down here. These things are eat those. All right, we're good. Golden. Come on, Ruby, you can do it. And you gotta learn your athletics. So slow. Right, so we have one more wrestle here. There's not much mealwood left. Eventually, we're gonna be relying more on the bristle blossom because these are unlimited. So we're gonna build more of those instead of the millwood. As I've mentioned before, you gotta be careful when you're building your structures near a geyser because the heat there is a bit too much, so it's gonna cause a bit of a problem. If your structure is overheating, you don't want that to happen. Are we at maximum? Yeah, we're at maximum. We can probably stop for now. Save me a bit of algae. We have 2k algae. Just very few. We're done. Okay, what else do we need? So we have that set in. Do I want sanitation? Yeah, I think. Which reminds me. Oh, they're already full and I have no compost. Um, let me, let me just do that first. You forgot about that one. Prioritize, please. Obsidian again? Uh, I'll never get used to it. How many cycles does it take? I think it takes around... Wow, 10 cycles. It's gonna be a while. So next plan here is that we're gonna be digging through through here. Now before I get to the slime itself, I have to close this one in. Then we start digging through all the way to the geyser. Then we start making our biodistiller and everything here. So we're gonna make a pool for the geyser water. Then we're gonna make a lot of distiller somewhere up here for the slime production. I mean not the slime production, I mean algae production. We still have enough oxygen? Yeah, we have a lot of oxygen. Oh, we have a new duplicate coming in. Really? For a slow learner, you're a plus three learning. You're pretty good. Let's go, Abe. We have Abe. So we're up 14, we're still doing research, so I'll probably do research for decoration next, just in case this stress keeps going up. So I have to take note of that. <clears throat> Gonna have to keep the oxygen circulating as well, so I have to make sure everything is fine and dandy. So cute, Ruby is so slow. So we're gonna be extending there, and I'm probably gonna have to put some ladder here. And we dig everything down here. It's gonna be a lot of work. Alright, come on, people, keep digging and. Um, Hopefully we complete all of these items. Let's see. How do we want to do this? The gear. And there. Oh, we have oxalites. That's a waste of oxalites. Sad thing about these oxalites is that they won't be able to produce oxygen. They. They will. I'll make them produce oxygen. Oh, 
Yep, research done. So we're gonna be going for decorations for the time being. Then, where do we extend? I think I'm gonna need. Oh, we, we have the purifier. We have the bio distiller. Uh, what am I lacking? Oh, this one. I'm gonna be doing fine dining mix. Yep, so the two outposts is actually pretty good. Outhouse, I mean. It's working pretty fine. And we have enough food as it is, so we're, we're still, we're also good there. Yep, produce that oxalite, work for it. And still have a lot of oxygen, so we're fine. I want to open up this so you can also produce oxy oxygen to make oxygen re oxygen I mean that might leak Uh, huh. We gotta close that in just in case. Alright, so we have slime coming in, so I have to... Do something. Sanitation? First, that air purifier. The odorizer, I mean. I should put you here. Nah, don't need it. Need it later, though. For now, no. It's gonna be a waste of time. So, at least we have a lot of polluted water around. So, I'm gonna do this one first so we can clear everything here so we can. Create a big enough pool for this geyser to actually blow up water. These things are producing oxygen. It's not gonna be enough, but it's oxygen. And we're doing quite well as it is. I'm glad to see this is doing very well. I think this is gonna be a quite a smooth walkthrough. So yeah, so I'm gonna end the video for today and uh, we're gonna continue on from cycle 11 to 20 and so on um, I'll see on how long the video takes if it takes really too long to produce I'll probably cut the videos to fit maybe into maybe a maximum of three videos at least at most so again see you again next time